Today I'm unboxing the iPhone 15 Pro and telling you my favorite new features that make it stand out from the previous generation. I'll also be drop testing this with one of Casetify's new cases to see how it holds up because there's been a little bit of concerns around strength with this new one. But firstly, let's just get into it. So this is the white model of the 15 Pro. I think it looks excellent and you'll notice the main differences here are the contoured edges and it's more of a brushed aluminium look with this new button on the side. This is called the action button and essentially it's replacing the mute switch toggle which allowed you to quickly put your phone into silent mode. But I do like the idea of this being a quick shortcut to either opening the camera or the torch or creating a voice memo. The only downside here is no, it's not multi-programmable, which is insane to me, especially because classically Androids have been able to do this for years, but I'm sure knowing Apple, this will come in a future phone upgrade or software update. Also, if you don't use the action button as a mute switch, you'll still have the ability to silence the phone pretty quickly, but you will now need to go into control center, which is a drag down from the top right on the newer phones. And then you just hit the bell icon. Continuing on, everything's pretty standard. No charger in the box, but you do get a new braided USB-C to USB-C cable. And although this doesn't necessarily seem special, this is another one of my standout features aside of the action button because not only does the Pro model have 3.0 speed, but you can now charge your AirPods or Apple Watch or other phones and devices using a wired connection to the USB-C port. And on the Pro model, not the other iPhone 15s, just the Pro models, you can actually plug in an SSD backup hard drive and record video straight to the hard drive. But now it's time to drop test this phone. Casetify has sent me their new Ultra bounce case. And I'm not sure if you remember, but last year I actually did a drop test with one of Case Defy's cases. And I've genuinely been using and liking that case ever since. Which is why when Case Defy asked me if I wanted to test their new Ultra Bounce case, I was happy to collaborate with them again. So the new Ultra Bounce case is the strongest case that Case Defy's ever created with new Ultra Bounce corners, which allow it to withstand drops of up to 10 meters. And they've actually sent me some shock absorbent material from their competitor and their new case. So we can all see how the product truly works. So as you can see, when you drop these metal balls onto the product, the competitor lets the ball bounce whereas the EcoShock material fully absorbs the impact. So now we've just got to go find somewhere to drop test this. I'm in a beautiful place called Fingleheads. Dude, look at the moon. So this lighthouse is about four meters high, so I'm going to throw the phone into the air. Now these tests always make me nervous, but this case has 360 degree protection. It covers the cameras and it has this little lip to protect the screen. So three, two, one. It's chilling. Not even really much to the case, just a couple of scuffs that, ah, ugh. That did not sound good. Okay. We're good. Oh. All right, so it's dirty, but it's just dirt. That's great. Just dirt on the screen. We're still good to go. Check the cameras still work. Yeah. Yeah. Go to casetify.com slash tech for 15% off or you can use my code 15 ellietech for the same discount. And just for fun, quickly, I thought I'd show you the difference between the white iPhone Pro and the new titanium color in the Pro Max. Now, I know titanium as a color is gray, but did anyone else think in Apple's promos this phone looked a bit more gold? Anyway, another new feature about the phone is because they're built with titanium, it actually makes the device a bit lighter, which really does reduce the heft of what you usually feel in the Pro models. The final new feature of the iPhone 15 Pro that I want to share with you would have to be its updated portrait mode and camera capabilities. All round, including night mode, the quality should just be better, but the most exciting feature would have to be that now you can actually change the focus of your subject post taking the photo. So say for example you're taking a selfie and for some reason the best shot you took was the one where your face was out of focus and it caught the background in focus instead like this. What? Well now you just go into your camera roll and you can hit edit and you can change the depth of field and the focus point afterwards. The awesome part about this is you can actually do this in the portrait mode but also with the regular camera and maybe the depth isn't quite new the focus change definitely is but the depth or tweaking that exact focus point can actually completely change the photo and take it from average to something that looks professional. I've got more on Insta and TikTok but I'll be back soon so subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.